The Biden campaign is making reproductive rights a centerpiece of its re-election drive. Vice President Kamala Harris campaigned in Florida the day the state's new abortion law took effect. This is a fight for freedom. The fundamental freedom to make decisions about one's own body and not have their government tell them what they're supposed to do. Florida's new abortion law is among the nation's most restrictive and has prompted a November ballot initiative to put abortion rights in the state constitution. U.S. states are making their own abortion laws because a 2022 Supreme Court decision ended federal abortion protections. Trump appointed three of the six justices who decided that case, and Harris says voters need to hold him accountable. Across our nation, we witness a full-on assault, state by state, on reproductive freedom. And understand who is to blame. Former President Donald Trump did this. While Trump says the new Florida law goes too far, he regularly takes credit for this state-by-state -state approach to abortion. It's the will of the people, he explained in a video on his social media site last month. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks, or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. You must follow your heart or, in many cases, your religion or your faith. At a women's health clinic in Fort Pierce, Florida, this patient fears the new law means more young women will die. I think it means a lot more deaths, honestly, because six weeks is not really a lot of time. And then I feel like abortion, it's still going to happen, whether it happens legally or illegally. It'll happen like on the streets. It'll just be unsafe. Clinic owner Candace Dye says there was a rush of patients before the new abortion law. For her, a six-week ban is too restrictive. And a lot of girls don't even know they're pregnant until they're six weeks. You know, they think they're four weeks because they haven't seen their period yet. So, <laughs> and then we do our ultrasound and they're six already and the patients have to be seen two different days. Outside the clinic, anti-abortion protesters try to engage with each woman who enters. Tammy Holly shares her experience. I'm here because abortion has hurt me. And I certainly don't want to see other women hurt by abortion. They walk in the door and they never come out the same. No matter how they try to go on with life as normal, they'll never be the same. While ending abortion motivates many Republican voters, Trump appears mindful of the issue's political vulnerabilities in a close presidential race. Always go by your heart, but we must win. We have to win. We are a failing nation but we can be a failing nation no longer. We will make our nation great. Harris says Trump's Republican allies in Congress won a nationwide abortion ban. Trump has said that's not necessary now that states can make their own abortion laws. Scott Stearns, VOA News.